car is the sum of many parts, not least in the case of the new Bentley Mulsanne, a 6 and 3 quarter litre V8 engine. And with a car like the Mulsanne, attention to detail is everything, from the hand crafting of the body to the immaculate finish of the paint. We went to the company's factory in Pims Lane to meet the people behind the Mulsanne and find out about one aspect of the car in particular, its leather. We saw how it's ripped, prodded, marked, cut, sniffed, stitched, heated and soaked in a number of different fluids, including artificial sweat, to make sure it's absolutely top notch. Every available technology is used to check quality, from an electron microscope to this chap, who tests durability by getting in and out of the car not 1,000, not 10,000, but 25,000 times for each seat. There are some things a machine just can't do. It, it takes two years from, from the conception of, of what the business wants in, yeah. for the leather, for the Mulsanne, until actually getting into the cars, yes. Okay. For the Mulsanne, we wanted something which is a bit more special. And rather than just um, giving the, the customer um, the feeling of sitting in a luxury interior, we wanted him to feel like he's sitting in like a high-end piece of furniture. We wanted the, the leather for the seats to be very, very soft, very tactile, so, so he would actually feel like he's sitting at home in the sitting room. Argentinian cattle might make tasty steaks, but South German bulls make for much better hides, and it takes 17 to cover the inside of the Mulsanne. There are fewer mosquitoes in this cooler climate and less barbed wire, both of which can make the kind of marks listed in Bentley's book of banned blemishes. We define the level of imperfection that we actually are prepared to accept so that our customers will end up with a hide that's good. They're the best hides in the business, but even then, only 30 to 40% of each will make it into a Mulsanne. The rest is marked up, cut off, and sent off to China to be made into furniture. The bits that do make the grade are stitched together with a kind of attention to detail that makes the mind boggle. A new machine had to be developed just to allow for these even valleys on the surface of the seat. You can't do it justice in terms of just in, in a minute it starts off. As a, um, as a flat piece of leather and the pins in the press produce the panel where there's a width, a, a tram line mm -hmm. um, down from start to finish of about 25 mil wide. This is the insert panel right. that would go onto, yeah. onto there. Then the rest of the cover is constructed so where you see these sew lines, yeah. this makes up the rest of the cover. But that's just the sewing, the overall manufacture of it takes around 42 hours for a complete set of seats in my area. The paint on the surface of the leather has to be perfect. Bentley's electron microscope makes sure it's the right thickness. A millionth of a metre, or half the width of a human hair, is about right. One of the key things that, that may be important to us is the thickness of the paint, is it correct? We want to know what we're purchasing from our suppliers is what, is what we asked for. Um, you, can, you can clearly see a defined paint layer in this case, and here you, know, you really get a good image of the fibres underneath. Since Bentleys are sold around the world, they have to withstand cold, hot, humid and arid climates. The colour can't fade when it's parked in the extreme heat outside Dunkin' Donuts in Dubai, so samples are baked in UV light. So we test temperatures, um, up to a, the region of 110 degrees. Many climates in the world will get to 45, 50 degrees centigrade. And when the car is static outside in those conditions, then the top surfaces, the dashboard and so on, we'll see, we'll see that sort of temperature. Bentley also has to make sure the colour doesn't rub off on your clothes. It does dry tests like this, but it also soaks the leather in everything from suntan cream and alcohol to artificial sweat to make sure it's fast. We couldn't get the recipe, if you're wondering. You wouldn't want your Mulsanne to start smelling of socks if you lived in humid Hong Kong. So every leather treatment is subjected to another battery of smell tests. Bentleys have a large amount of leather in them and we want the car to smell as it should do. Then we actually do a, a smell test by, um, by nose, really. Mm -hmm. We have to calibrate the people's noses to understand what the what the right sort of level is. Mm -hmm. Which, right, we're really covering all the extremes that we're going to see in cars. So very hot and dry, humid, uh, lots of moisture, medium temperatures, and then just as we receive them, you know, the, the normal car on a car parking crew. And it doesn't matter if it looks good and smells great if it doesn't last. The paint is tested by putting samples through tens of thousands of cycles to make sure it doesn't crack or the surface break down in this abrasion test. That electron microscope also comes in handy here too. 
And here after the abrasion test, I think you can probably see how it's starting to come through. Yep. And in these areas, you're looking at the actual fibres of the leather. And since the Milzan has to withstand the hottest of climates, the entire car is baked in the oven to make sure the leather and every other part can cope with extreme variations in temperatures. If we can't break the leather here, yeah. or, or any of the parts of the car, then um, the customer's not going to have any problems. If you don't like the 24 standard colours that Bentley offers for the Morzans leather, you could always come up with your own. Any colour, material or hide you like can be used as long as it can meet Bentley standards. You know, we've had customers who had a crocodile farm and went, I want some of my car trimming in crocodile. But obviously we would then want to test that hide, whatever hide it is, through all our tests and see whether it meets the standard. The majority of Bentleys that ever been built are still on the road, so our cars don't just last the normal 8 to 10 years. They tend to be around for 20, 30, 40 years. So we can ensure that the, the customer's leather in the car will last for generations. If you like what you've seen and you fancy buying yourself a Mulzahn, get in touch with Bentley and they'll happily show you around Pims Lane too.